Greeks woke up to long lines at ATMs in even more uncertainty a day after the country rejected the terms of a bailout. We want them to listen to the voice of the Greek people, and Draghi must give money to the banks so they open. I don't know what will happen with the banks. I haven't even gotten last month's pension, and I can only get 50 to 60 euros to get by. I'm having a tough time, like the rest of my family. The relative calm on the streets of Athens is remarkable, says political expert Wolfgang Pikoli, but warns that it will be short-lived if the leadership doesn't temper expectations. I think it's certainly misleading when they're saying that they're going to reach a deal within the next 48 hours and banks will be open tomorrow. None of the two is going to happen. The banks will be closed tomorrow, let's say by the, and by the end of tomorrow they're going to be without money in the ATM machines. Unclear whether they can reopen on Wednesday at this point, and certainly no deal within 20, 48 hours. It will take weeks to reach a deal. Earlier on Monday, the country's finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, a critic of the austerity measures linked with the latest bailout, resigned. In a statement, he said some European partners thought his presence at talks would hinder a possible deal.